Hey everyone, this is Crowen, and welcome to my first ever vlog. Now, just to preface, this isn't going to be anything like super serious, this is mostly just going to be my thoughts and experiences on mostly Hotch related things, maybe a couple of uh, non Hotch related things, and it might be a series that only is this one video, or it might be a whole long series that last years and years, I don't really expect it to, but we'll see. So first off, what's I guess pressing on my mind is I wanted to talk about qualifying for Katowice, which we did last week um, after that series of NA matches, but this week we um, ended up beating No Tomorrow in a 3-0 series. Um, but yeah, anyway, back to Katowice. So it's going to be the second time ever that I will be in Europe. The first time was last summer at DreamHack Sweden, which was a really cool experience um, all, all around. Kind of disappointing in the results because we ended up losing to PBA, as most people know. Yeah. Unlucky, really. But no, it was, it was a cool experience. Even after the first rounds, or the first group stages, sorry, and even just being at DreamHack and watching all the teams play and stuff. It was just really cool. I got to meet a lot of amazing people, even people that I <laughs> couldn't really understand. I, one thing that pops uh, into my head was actually Duck Duck and my first ever um, time meeting him. He actually like came over to me and asked for a picture and I was like, holy, like, Duck Duck, like, uh, like on Tempest, like he wants to take a picture of me, like I'm NA scrub, right? Like I'm nobody. <laughs> Um, but no, I'm, I'm like, I think I would consider myself friends with DuckDuck. Duck. We don't really talk too, too much. Just some very base interactions on Twitter from time to time. But, um, anyway, long story short, Sweden was really cool. So now, looking forward to Katowice, we will be playing against more international competition, primarily Europe being the main threat. And uh, the best team in Europe right now, I think, without a doubt, is Misfits. Um, we got to play them when they were my insanity back in Sweden, and we ended up losing that series, um, 0-2. We were doing pretty well game one, but then we kind of did the GFE thing where we throw a little bit, and it happens. Every team does it from time to time, or at least most teams. Anyway, I'm really looking forward to that experience. It's going to be at a really nice venue. I actually like... <laughs> ever since I got into esports, just in general, I've always wanted to go to like all those big events, say like the Dream Hacks, the IEMs, and IEM Katowice is really, really big, really cool. There's a lot of cool stuff, cool people there, so really excited for it. Um, in terms of the competition, I think, how do I think we'll do as Gale Force? I think we have a good shot at making top four. Anything more than that, I think, will be a nice surprise to us. I think it is definitely possible, but I think we'll be satisfied with at least top four at Katowice. Obviously, on GFE, all of us strive to just keep improving and be better and better. And so our goal is number one, like at that, that very, very top. We might not get there, but that is what we strive for. And I think that's a main reason why I really I love being on this team. I love all my teammates and their, their drive to always improve and get better. And I share that same drive with them. So Katowice, looking forward to the competition. Um, Quacknix actually <laughs> called out Michael Udall in one of his uh, post-game interviews in HGC. I think it was a couple weeks ago, maybe, at this point. No, I'm starting this week. We just, we just played No Tomorrow. Um, and he called out Michael, but Michael, I think, called him out after his interview this week. Um, just it's a little friendly rivalry, which I, I really enjoy. Like, I, I enjoy that sort of, that hype creation. I think it's really good for the scene in general. Um, and I'm really excited to get to play Fnatic, because we haven't played Fnatic, um, ever. I think yeah, our only match against a European team was against, um, Misfits when they were my insanity. So, we'll see how we fare against them, especially with us having um, a new roster at this point, um, as opposed to during the summer when we had Fury and Rafflecopter paired with myself, Akaface, and Michael Udall. Um, so yeah, after Katowice, well not after, but next topic I guess I wanted to go over was my experience as a tank player in HGC, because <laughs> week one everyone was kind of like, question mark, question mark, why is Crowen playing tank? What is GFE doing? Crowen, what, what, 
Is Crow a new tank player? And <laughs> people who watched my stream before HGC started knew I was practicing tanks because we started flexing a lot more. And I actually want to tell a little bit of the origin story of that, or how that came to be. So I remember the map. It was a Black Hearts Bay game. And sometimes in scrims, we experiment with different comps. Um, just see what works, what doesn't, etc, etc. And we drafted a comp where I didn't really play any of the heroes. I think it was like a double melee assassin or like double tank or something. And then like false said maybe and I don't really play a false side because that's been Michael's hero for a long time. He's really, really good at that hero. And then support and obviously Aquaface plays support. So I was like... Just give me Muradin, man, because we had drafted Muradin, and I it was I was like seventy five percent joking. And I was like, I'm Murad, God, just just let me play Muradin, and I actually don't think I missed an entire stun, or uh, rather a stun that entire game. It was really weird, and everyone was like just as confused as I, as I was, but I was trying to play it off, you know, like yeah, man, I'm Murad, God, just let me play Muradin somewhere, and <laughs> I think I ended up going a record of like fifteen and zero on Meriden and scrims until I think some of the European teams were um, in the States for BlizzCon and we scrimmed versus them. Um, and I think one of the European teams um, tarnished that undefeated record with me on Meriden. But either way, that that's how it all started. And then obviously Equinox is well known for his melee assassins like Kerrigan and Tracer. Um, we've seen him on Tracer a lot, and now he's really good at Artanis too, and a bunch of other ones. Like he's been playing Valera. I'm pretty sure almost everyone knows that he's a really good Valera player. So I kind of stepped up as tanking sometimes, and I think it's worked out a lot of the times for my team. Um, I know we've have received some criticism for that because people say, oh, sometimes like you can you can noticeably tell that the like, Crone isn't as comfortable on tank as like. A main tank player should be when I play stuff like Murden or UTC or Diablo. I know I had a couple of Diablo games that people said were iffy, and I agree they weren't the, exactly the best. I think my first one was pretty solid, but the second one I don't think was that much so like like that good rather. Um, but I think the main reason is just because we haven't had a lot of time to adjust to that, because it's really only been going on for like a month or, or a couple months that like I've been playing tanks and scrims. And Equinox is also a new tank player considering he played the melee assassin role beforehand. So it's sort of a new adjustment to, uh, to, to all of us. And I think the more time that goes on, like even from week one to week seven, or not week seven, but week five now in HGC, um, there's a lot of noticeable improvement. And I think that will only continue to grow. And I guess we will really see how that how far that improvement has gone when we get to Katowice and we see how we fare against the European teams. But I, I'm really enjoying this, I think, because not only do I find tank fun, I think I'm honestly I'm pretty good at it. I've gotten a lot of compliments um, from people about like the way I position on tanks, like the way the way I posture, like my how do I explain it? I guess like the way I view a team fight, like I will be able to either like slide in an ATC or like stage dive in or mosh pit if I'm not moshing the air. <laughs> if anyone knows what that refers to, I thought I took stage dive and then I ended up moshing nothing. Uh, don't tell anybody. But uh, I think a lot of my, I guess game sense transfers over to tank a well, just kind of like it does on Li Ming, like how I guess I got known, I got popular, it's how I won um, the fall regional, um, the second fall regional in Burbank is because my Ling was, I mean, my Li Ming was really good at that point because I was able to punish people for their positioning and stuff. Um, and yeah, I think that transfers over to, to tank with just that game sense. Um, I think moving forward that I will only get stronger at the role. And I think Equinox will only get stronger at his practice on tank as well. Like, obviously, he does still practice things like the the Tracer and, and the Valera now and Artanis a bit and stuff. Like, we even saw him um, on a Thrall game, which he's been practicing a bit as well. So it's, I guess, a little bit more weight on both of our shoulders. But I think it'll end up working for the best. Working out for the best. And yeah, so the third topic that I wanted to go over was <laughs> being called a one-trick. And I think in some sense, 
people thought I have overcompensated for that by now not only playing more than just one hero, the Li Ming, but switching over to an entirely new role. And I have gotten some praise for it. Um, there was a tweet, or not a tweet, but a, a Twitch chat message actually. I know it's Twitch chat, you shouldn't take things you say or you see in Twitch chat literally, and I, believe me, like I, I, I just found the comment funny more than anything. And it, the comment said something on the lines of, Yeah, Crone's a good Muradin in ranged, but that's about it still. And I'm like, I actually posted that to my Twitter. I blocked out the person's name. I don't want to like call them out or anything. But it was the it was the message uh, that just it, I don't know. It really, it really just it really just struck me. I'm like, this is a a hero of an entirely new role, and he didn't even say. Like, oh, Crohn's good Muradin and Li Ming, but that's about it still. Like, okay, it's two heroes, but you said I'm good at an entire role, and then a hero of an entirely different role, and you said, yeah, that's about it still. Like, what more do you want? <laughs> uh, I don't know, It's it was it was just funny. So, <laughs> oh boy, I think that some people have said I've overcompensated by trying to learn a new role. I don't think so, it just kind of sprouted by that coincidence of that Meriden game, and we've just sort of stuck with it ever since, and it's been working for us, so if it's not broken, don't fix it, you know? That sort of philosophy. <laughs> so I think that is pretty much it for my first vlog, I don't really have much more. This is sort of just an intro, I know it it's already like 12 minutes at this point. I ended up kind of rambling, but I don't really want these vlogs to be like super serious. I just want to be able to express my thoughts and I guess make them available for anyone who wants to watch and is curious about the things that are pertain to me, my life, my hot related career. So thank you everybody for watching. I really appreciate it. As always, much love and have a good day or night or whatever time it is there where you are.